Good morning everyone. This is a short presentation about uh, role of uh, diffusion weighted and spectroscopy in space occupying relation. Special emphasis on these two techniques. 40 years old patient presented with headache, fever, signs of rise in intracranial pressure. So here on T2, what we could see is a ill-defined lesion with central hyperintensity and ill-defined hypointense wall. The same thing more or less is reflected on flare images. There is a mass effect, there is a midline shift, there is a false sign herniation. In coronals, there is also even ankle herniation and brainstem compression. So on post contrast, before we go to the contrast, we need to see whether what we are dealing with uh, um, this particular lesion. And we require two sequences in the plane study. Uh, one is a gradient sequence where you need to exclude any hematoma or hemorrhagic products, or you can use 3D susceptibility weighted imaging also for the same purpose. On post contrast study, this is a without fat set, this is with fat set with MPC, is showing a, a beautiful peripheral enhancement, smooth wall. This smooth wall uh, is gives some clue to the space occupying lesions. Here you can see smooth wall. The wall is much better appreciated in uh, MPC and fat set images. And the central non-enhanced uh, portion could be a necrotic portion. So here uh, the uh, role of uh, diffusion weighted is very important. Here what you can see is a restricted foci of the diffusion. Though there is a heterogeneity, there are some high restriction of diffusion that is intermediate and wall is also showing hypointensity and the diffusion also shows significant hyperintensity. And the value of this is approximately 0 0.5 into 10 power minus uh, 3 millimeter square per second. So, um, very few diseases goes below uh, uh, 7, 6. Uh, one of them is uh, abscess formation and uh, uh, restriction of diffusion in the central part of the abscess. It comes uh, as close values as in fact 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 um, into 10 power minus uh, 3 hours. Uh, after diffusion weighted, this is... Uh, like a spectroscopy. Here you can see there is a this is a, a low T value single voxel spectroscopy. There is a large peak uh, which is uh, represents lipid lactate peak to differentiate lipid from lactate peak. You need to do intermediate T that is 135 and 144. Here you can see this is the largest peak. So any necrosis can produce this, it is non-specific. So you need to look for the any specific metabolites which are displayed in this particular. And if you see here, there is a peak at 0.9. So this is also showing some uh, double type. This could be uh, most likely amino acids like a leucine, isoleucine, which comes around uh, valin at around 0.9 ppm. And, uh, and the, another peak which you need to look for is uh, acetate peak if it is there, but it, there is nothing marked at 19 so let us skip to the next one, which is succinate, which is relatively specific for abscess, which comes around 2.4 uh, ppm. So a combination of these amino acids and succinate along with the lipid lactate might give us a clue and virtual diagnosis uh, and uh, close diagnosis or signature for MR spectroscopy in combination with the conventional and uh, diffusion weighted imaging sequences. So uh, one need to analyze for these metabolites uh, meticulously. Um, to diagnose the abscess. There is acetate, succinate, pyruvate and amino acids. Thank you very much for your attention.